bitch to rock. Woo! My gift is right. Check. My bucket is low. Check. <laughs> Hey, welcome back. Let's get straight into today's news. So, Red Dead Redemption's release date is set in stone, and I'm pretty sure most of us are excited about that, but Grand Theft Auto V, a game that literally keeps on giving and raking in the money, was initially released back in 2013 for Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. Not too far behind came enhanced PC, PS4 and Xbox One versions, and Rockstar slash Take-Two must be laughing themselves into video game domination, because Grand Theft Auto V is well on its way to hitting 100 million copies sold to retail. Courtesy of DualShockers.com, here's the full story. Take-Two Interactive Software announced its financial results for the first quarter of fiscal year 2018, which matches the period between April 1st and June 30th. The company's net revenue was 388 million US dollars, with net bookings at around 288 million. Rockstar and 2K publisher Take-Two repurchased 1.6 million shares of its common stock for around 153.5 million US dollar. Now, Chief Executive Officer Strauss Zelnick accompanied followed the announcement with a comment mentioning that excitement for Rockstar's massively anticipated Red Dead Redemption 2, also the announcement that Grand Theft Auto V is close to achieving 100 million units sold into retailers. Just in May, we already reported that the game had passed 95 million units. Here's a quote. Fiscal 2019 is off to a solid start with first quarter operating results that exceeded our expectations. This performance was driven by better than expected recurrent consumer spending on Grand Theft Auto Online and NBA 2K18, as well as robust ongoing demand for Grand Theft Auto V, which is now approaching 100 million units sold in to date. Here's a quote. We are incredibly excited about the October 26th launch of Rockstar Games Red Dead Redemption 2 as well as the upcoming releases of NBA 2K19, which marks the 20th anniversary of the series and the 30th anniversary of the Visual Concepts Development Team and WWE 2K19. Fiscal 2019 is poised to be another year of profitable growth for Take-Two and we expect to deliver record operating results. Looking ahead, we have a strong development pipeline across our labels and are exceedingly well positioned for long-term growth and margin expansion. Take two there. Digitally delivered net bookings were 252.8 million US dollars as compared to 280.9 million in last year's fiscal first quarter and accounted for approximately 88% of total net bookings as compared to 81% in last year's fiscal first quarter. The largest contributors to digitally delivered net bookings in first fiscal quarter 2019 were Grand Theft Auto Online and Grand Theft Auto 5, NBA 2K18, Monster Legends and Dragon City and WWE Supercard and WWE 2K18. Hmm, pretty freaking phenomenal, huh? And in other news, Capcom has said it will explore the possibility of more remakes and releases. Courtesy of VideoGamer.com, here's the full story. Capcom has said during its recently quarterly earnings call that it will explore the possibility of additional remakes and re-releases of back catalogue titles at some point down the line. Now, this is nothing new, we've heard this from Capcom before, and they have made good at rehashing some of their older titles in their IP. It's probably too early to get excited about a Resident Evil 3 Nemesis remake. The company made it clear that it's going to look at revamping classic IP. Here's a quote. Further regarding remakes and re-releases of titles in our back catalogue, we expect to explore these further with a variety of properties as part of our strategy to utilise our library of IP, said the company. In addition, the software giant revealed that the upcoming remake of Resident Evil 2 is expected to be a million seller and is budgeted appropriately for a resi game that is aiming to appeal to a global market. Capcom has plenty of games that really could do with being sproused up for modern hardware with Dino Crisis and Onimusha being the most obvious candidates outside of Resi 3. Resident Evil 2 is scheduled to release for PlayStation 4, PC and Xbox One on January 25th, 2019. Capcom is releasing a collective edition for the survival horror title, although unlike Resident Evil 7 Biohazard, it won't feature any virtual reality support. The studio recently admitted that it almost gave the iconic alligator boss fight the chop, saying it was tricky to achieve for the remake. Thank goodness they kept it in then. 
Resident Evil 3, Dino Crisis and the still rumoured to be in development Onimusha remake, well at least Capcom hasn't shut down the hopes of fans in the series and plenty of other Capcom IP I'm sure the seasoned gamers will remember and comment on in this video. But let's see what happens shall we? Okay so just a quick heads up before we go and that's really regarding content activity on this channel over the next week or so. Now I have building work going on from Wednesday next week, that is the 8th and I'm changing internet service providers since too many things seem to be going wrong with my current one. Since Sunday last week I've had ridiculously slow internet. I've been really paying Virgin Media handsomely for fibre optic internet speeds beyond 100 megabytes per second but Yet for some reason all this week I can barely scrape past 2.5, sometimes just one megabyte per second, hence why I could only really upload two videos this week and I really couldn't live stream on Wednesday either. It's not the router, I tested it, I'm pretty clued up on all things internet, yet Virgin claim the issue is not on their end and the customer service rep seemed extremely lazy and unapologetic. He wouldn't even call his supervisor when I requested. I know, pathetic right? I'm totally done with that company, believe me. So things are looking a little sketchy right now, but all things will resume to normal transmission ASAP. I'm doing my best to make alter really alternative arrangements as far as recording videos goes and uploading but I can't guarantee there won't be some disruption to content up until the mid uh, or middle of August rather so bear with me on that. But as regards to the day's news do share your thoughts and opinions on these top stories because that unfortunately brings us to the end of the video but let's continue the discussion in the video comments and for more PS4, Xbox One and Nintendo Switch news subscribe to Foxy Games UK and hit the notification bell so you never miss content, thumbs up if you like the video, help us reach more like minded gamers simply by sharing this video. Consider supporting Foxy Games UK's Patreon for just one dollar, one pound or equivalent. Help us grow, you'll find the link in this video's description. Thanks for your kind support. And there we have it. Until next time, always remember, play games, not corporations.